Hi guys, Cross the Cons. I'm just sitting out here in the beautiful sun, getting my vitamin D for the day. And um, I just got home from the YMCA, had a great time swimming, and uh, we did a little craft, a little arts and crafts. Here's some pictures. This is Cross the Cons. Here we are at the YMCA, and we're taking an art class. Woo -woo, they're painting. Hi. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You should be a I didn't know I was so artistic. Woo, they're painting. They're painting. I didn't know I was so artistic. Now I'm sitting out here trying to talk myself into uh, going to a meet and greet tonight. Um, it's in downtown Dallas and um, I'll be driving through rush hour traffic to get there all by myself. And I just need to um, <laughs> oh, go get dressed and get up the nerve. So uh, it's going to be a great, a great evening. Uh, Green Smoothie Girl is going to come give a talk, and um, it'll be fun. I'm sure she'll do some book signings and and uh, talk about uh, what it's like for the whole family to be green juicing and doing green smoothies and and. Uh, that it, I just really look forward to it. So, uh, here's some pictures of that. Well, I've made it into my go-to-town dub, so off we go. So like this, <laughs> and that's what I did for like 16 years. And people would show up and they would say, "Help me!" And I was on the phone all the time. And they were in my kitchen all the time. And they'd come up to me at church, whatever. And so. My life work is sort of represented in this box. Um, we got some feedback on, I just did the Pacific Northwest a few, a few weeks ago. I had 21 chronic health conditions. I won't bore you with them all. Because she was part of that post-war generation who innocently was gobbling up white sugar and white enzymes. And you only have a finite amount of ability to produce enzymes. <coughs> Okay, so these cats are eating all cooked food where there's a heavy draw on the pancreas and the liver to produce enzymes. It's very taxing, it's very aging to eat cooked food. These kitties got all raw food. Raw foods have enzymes because they haven't been cooked over 116 degrees. At 116 degrees, enzymes die. At 140 degrees, they're all dead. And a lot of the vitamins and minerals are unusable or destroyed too. So it's like the, the treatment is worse than the cure. <clears throat> You've heard that before? That is how I felt that day, the treatment is worse than the cure. And I was like, all I know is I can't have any more of that. And I drove away into the abyss of nothingness with no solution, sobbing like a thousand. And that is when I got very, very open-minded. Because up until that point, I had heard all the earthy, crunchy people, you know, all the weirdos, and the whole bunch of us in this room. <laughs> <laughs> You know some of them, right? Or you know one. But I have been completely careful of them because I was like, I have an advanced degree. I believe in science. I want to see it proven in medical journals with well done.